Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. In this video I will go over 9 different kites from some amazing big brands. These include Core, Nash, Cabrina, F1 and Harlem kites and even Duboton. Now ranking kites is of course very subjective. So if you feel like I've done you any wrong by ranking your kite pretty low, please tell me about it in the comment section below. If you care to know how we tested these kites, stick around and if you are in a hurry, I will try to put some timestamps into this video so you can skip right ahead. Buying a new kite is like buying a new car. You have to test it before you know what it's like. And testing kites is what we have done on this channel. Now, does the Core XR really jump the highest? Is the new Duoton click bar any good? And how big of a gamble is buying a relatively new brand? And is the new Duoton bag any bigger than a woman's purse? I will tell you all about it in this kite review. Now, are you a kite surfer that loves boosting and wants to get into doing some kite loops? Then you're just like me. Now all of the kites tested are supposedly made for boosting and that's how I'll be ranking these kites. I'll be including the following factors. How high does it boost? How does the bar feel and is the ingenuity? How much fun is it? And can you use it to avoid an avalanche? So in the background see a video, a promotional video from KiteMana where we were able to test these kites completely free of charge. Now unfortunately my friend and I were not able to test all the kites we wanted to test. So here they are, the ones that we missed. We definitely missed the North Orbit, they only had a few sizes available and they were constantly being tested by others. The F1 Bandit because they only seem to have smaller sizes available and we definitely needed a 12 meter in the beginning. Also we didn't get a chance to try out the Air Rush, the RPM kites, especially the new machine, I've heard a lot of good things about it, and the Ozone kites. Okay, so if it's not too obvious already, this is the part of the video where I tell you that I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form. And this kite review is 100% honest. Okay, so since the last chart I made for you did really well, I will be making another chart where I'll be ranking the 10 kites we tested from worst to best. At the number 10 spot we've placed the Core Nexus 2. Supposedly this kite is made for beginners, but in our experience it was fast with a bit of a delay. It's also missing a little bit of low end, in our opinion. However, it does boost really high. And if you're an experienced kite surfer, you'll probably have lots of fun using this kite. At number 9, we have the Bandit 2020. This is the first kite I bought myself. The turning speed is super smooth, but in our opinion, it's not made with boosting in mind. At number 7, we have the newest kite in this lineup, and that's the 2023 Nash Triad. Unfortunately, we don't like the color scheme of this kite and therefore think it's pretty ugly. However, for intermediate riders, this is an excellent kite and we do recommend it. Now, the number 7 and 6 are both pretty equal. They're the Harlem Go and the Duotone Evo SLS. The Duotone Evo SLS is a great all-rounder and it has a super large sweet spot for jumping. The Harlem Go feels a lot like the Duotone Evo but it comes with an excellent warranty and that's why we placed it at number 6. 
For more information, I recommend you watch the previous video about guide reviews. Now, for the fifth spot on this list, it's the Core XR. I know what you're thinking, isn't this the best boosting guide of them all? You might be right, but we feel like the bar is pretty standard and the guide is definitely on the slow side, even for a 5 thread guide. And that is why we placed it at number 5. The number 4 is the Cabrina Switchblade. We have mixed feelings with regards to the Switchblade. And that is because the 9 meter was awesome and the 12 meter was pretty terrible. The 9 meter turns really smoothly. I even went for a kite loop on this kite while I can barely manage them. The hang time is also great since this is a 5 thread design. I like the kite so much that I might be buying a smaller sized one in the future. Like I mentioned, the 12 is pretty slow, but the 9 meter is excellent. And now the time has come to make some hard choices. The podium of our test, the third spot on our list goes to the Nash Pivot. That is because using the Nash Pivot felt like coming home. It turns like my ex-girlfriend seeing the bill coming and the bar feel is awesome. The reason we placed the Nash Pivot in the third spot is because of the color scheme. It wasn't really our cup of tea. The second place goes to the Reading Supermodel. I own a Reading Supermodel and if you like light bar pressure, this might be the best boosting kite for you. Long hang time, easy looping, that is what the Supermodel is all about. Learning new tricks on the Supermodel has been a lot of fun for me and that's why I really recommend it. And then on to the winner, which guide will win our little kite review and that will be the Duotone Rebel. Want to go to the moon and back? We recommend the Duotone Rebel. It's agile and boosts super high. We tested the 9 meter with the small Duotone click bar. While I personally don't like the large click bar, the small click bar felt a lot better. It's also nice that Lasse Walker personally rigged this guide for us. If your wallet can afford it, we recommend getting the Duotone Rebel for boosting. Oh, and by the way, the Rebel comes with a super tiny bag that is as big as a purse. So if you really like folding, you can keep the normal bag. But if you don't, you can throw the eco-friendly bag into the trash and buy yourself a normal sized bag. So, if you made it this far and I haven't provided you with enough information yet, I've made an even more confusing chart so you can dive into all the different specifics of these kites. Let me also remind you that if you disagree on me on any of the given topics, please write an elaborate review in the comment section below. And if I help you at all, please leave a like and see you in the next video.